Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex and I'm back with another video. Uh, today we're gonna be doing uh, crazy hair <laughs> and doing a fall look. So yeah, let's get right on into it. So I might be a little uncomfortable and you might see me wince a little bit. Earlier today, Gus saw a bird and decided to book it towards said bird. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I sprained my ankle or twisted it or something like that, but it hurts. Uh, it swelled up a little bit, but I'm doing okay now. But you might see me once if I just hit it. All right, you know, we're gonna pop in these shadow shields. So I'm really excited. I'm a little sad. I feel like fall came way too soon and the summer just, the summer just went by so quickly. Does anybody else feel that way? Cause that's how it feels for me. Uh, I went to my community pool once. <laughs> <laughs> just once this summer. So and that was with my best friend. I don't know, it's just, it was closed for several weeks because somebody damaged something or other. And then it was, um, it's just busy with kids and stuff. And I just, sometimes I don't wanna deal with kids, so. So we're gonna go in with our P. Louise base. However, this time we're gonna be using shade Rumor Zero. I'm just gonna use a little flat brush for this bad boy here. So I'm, I'm excited about the fall. This is actually going to be my first fall where I'm actually single. So I get to do all the things that I've wanted to do but didn't get to or somebody didn't want to go with me. So honestly, I'm just going to go do it all by myself. I don't care if I don't have any body to go with, if I don't have any girlfriends, that's fine. I am a-okay with it. Um, I'm pretty sure my therapist is trying to get me into the idea of dating. <laughs> she had me watch for, as one of my homework, Indian matchmaking on Netflix. And yeah, it's a great show. And the reason she did that is because she wanted me to, to write down some of my things that I'm looking for. What are things that are non-negotiables for me? What are some things that would be nice to have, but if this person doesn't have it, it's not, you know, the end of the world kind of thing. And the number one thing for me, no addictions. Uh, my ex had a lot of addictions, especially alcohol, as well as some other things, but that was my first thing. Second thing, how about we be loyal and keep it in our pants? Like, is that so hard? And then the other things are just, a lot of the Indian matchmaking, a lot of these girls are very much like, he has to be a banker or a lawyer, or have lots of money, he has to be this tall. Like, as long as he's taller than me, I, like, I don't really care. It doesn't even have to be by much, but just be a little taller than me. All right, we're gonna go in with the Morphe palette. This is the 35 I believe it's 0M. I'll show you guys what it looks like. These are the shades and colors that we're gonna be working with today. But the whole premise behind her having me watch it was just so that I could see some things that for me are non-negotiables, like no smoking where my ex used to smoke. I'm just going in with a fluffy brush with a light, very light caramel shade and just pushing and packing in that base. I learned that I was very desperate for love and to be loved and all that stuff. So I just put up with it and I put up with a lot of things and tolerated a lot of things from him because, you yeah, know, that's what happens sometimes. So, so my non-negotiables, she wanted me to look at things that, you know, are, are nice, not necessarily a, a must have, but things that are nice, things that I'm looking for. For me, it's, I'm big on communication. Just communicate, don't lie, be ambitious, don't be lazy. It was interesting, so I think she's preparing me to start getting out and dating more, and I don't really know how I feel about that. I really am not too sure. All right, we're gonna go in with a super fluffy brush, and we're going to dip into more of an orangey shade and do a transition color on the crease. So Indian matchmaking, it's really cute. Uh, the only thing that I don't like is the way the producers and editors made some of the people on the show come out and, and, and seem like 
they were not very good people and that they were doing people dirty, doing other people dirty on the show, even though they, they really in reality weren't. So I don't like that because a lot of people don't realize that reality TV, while it is reality, there are a lot of parts that are over embellished and over dramatized just for views, for shock and awe value. And, and then people start getting hate on their socials and people forget that these people are human beings too. So you're saying hateful, mean things to them. Their grandma, their mom, their sibling, like people are, are reading these things and it's, it's awful. Unless someone has been convicted in a court of law about something or there's like just damning evidence. Leave these people alone. Now we're gonna go in with more of a tapered, but still a fluffy brush. We're gonna go in with more of a reddish, orangish kind of tone. I'm not really sure what you would call this. There we go. We're just gonna pack that down just a little bit lower. So yeah, that. but it's a, it's a good show. It is a very good show. Although I would like to see more than just Indian matchmaking. How do we get a Mormon matchmaking for me, y'all? <laughs> How about that? This is really pretty. This is like a sunset kind of vibe here. Loving it. We're gonna go in with a little bit of a darker red shade, same type of brush, and just push this a little bit more lower on that lid. What are some TV shows that you guys have been watching lately? Anything sticking out to you? Favorites, must-haves, anything that really sucked? <laughs> Anything that I should avoid that really sucks. I saw that there is a new season of Emily in Paris and I am prepared to binge watch that in the bathtub. Yes, that is gonna be a must. I love Emily in Paris. I love the actress too, she's so beautiful. And she's really good at acting. And it's funny because the first season that I watched, I was like, oh God, this is gonna suck. This acting seems kind of bleh, like Hallmark or Lifetime movie-esque acting. And it actually blew me away. It seemed like she got much more comfortable as the show went on and progressed. So I like it now, it's one of my favorite shows. We're gonna go in with some of these dark chocolatey colors and we're just gonna get a little, a little smaller of a brush here. And then we're really gonna start packing this in. What are some of your favorite things to do in the fall? I absolutely love going, looking for a pumpkin at the pumpkin patch. And it's funny cause I know that they're so overpriced, but I still love it. I just absolutely love it. I don't know, I think there's just something so cute little family stuff. I have a Taylor Swift song in my head. I can do it with a broken heart. It's funny because I was not really a big T Swift fan until this album. This album came out and I was like, okay girl, did, did you just get inside my brain and write these songs for me? It's literally how it feels. Going a little bit deeper. So I just wanna smoke it out just a little bit. So if you ever wanna take your eyeshadow look to more of a nighttime versus daytime, or you just wanna smoke it out, always a little bit of dark brown or just a very little black. And you can see how we went from this right here to this more of a sultry, smoky as the vibe. I also love haunted houses. I really love haunted houses. I don't know if I wanna do that alone. So maybe you guys can come here in Vegas and we'll all go do it together. I'm excited because I'm gonna finally, I'm gonna start putting up some of my Halloween decorations. Cause I love Halloween so much. And I don't feel like one month with just my Halloween decorations is enough, so. <laughs> and I will have to do a house tour and show you guys my beautiful decorations because I'm obsessed. Now we're gonna go in with a flat brush like this. We're gonna add a little bit of a lighter, caramelish, orangish kind of color and just kind of pack that towards the front. Cause I do want just a little bit of it lighter right up in here. All right, now we're gonna go in with even lighter of a shade, trying to pack that right in this corner in here. We're just going to blend, just gonna blend ever so slightly. Then we're gonna go in with that brush that we did the red with. And then we're just gonna go a little bit lower. All right, now we're gonna take that fluffy brush again, but we're gonna do underneath here while we have our shadow shields on. I'm not hoping this is coming off. And then I go in with that red. Wow, this is like really making my eyes pop and stand out. Do this in the inner corners. 
just a lighter color. We're gonna try the NYX. We're gonna do this liquid eyeliner. Hopefully things go okay. All right, let's try. Should we try a wing? We're doing it guys, we're doing a wing. Here is the big reveal. Should we, we'll do it this way. It's like a little baby, a little, a little baby one. <laughs> it's so cute. But it looks pretty though. I actually do like this eye look. All right, you know, we're, we're gonna go in with the Farsali Skin Mist. Why did I do that? Oh, here we go. So I've got a lot of things planned coming up with travel and holidays. I'm really excited. I'm doing a girl's trip, so by the time that this video goes live, I will have already gone to my girl's trip. But I'm very excited about it. I have not done a girl's trip in ages, and the last time I went, I went with a bunch of mean girls. And I kid you, and I kid you not, they ended their friendship with me because I wasn't taking selfies with the birthday girl. But I didn't even have my phone out and wasn't even taking selfies. And then they got mad at me saying that I was on my phone because I was playing a um a game on my phone during one of the movies we were watching and it's because uh that's how i it's how i watch movies sometimes especially ones that i've seen i i have to just do something else i don't know why it's i think an adhd thing so yeah they ended our friendship i was hurt at first but this group of girls Literally, they run, like the two girls just, they're friends. They run through them like no other. And they actually, there's one friend that had a baby. They asked her to go out to brunch or something like that. And they, I kid you not, had handwritten, handwritten notes about, it was almost like a friend, friend intervention handwritten notes about how the one girl was not a good friend to the other girls because she didn't make time for them. And it's like, she had a freaking baby. Like, like, what do you expect? I don't know that, but I think the two girls will always be friends, mostly because one of them worships the other and they feed off that stuff. So we're gonna go in with the tier tier foundation. I am in shade 21N Ivory, which I really don't think I am. Now I did in the shower today do a really nice, gave myself like a little mini micro, micro drum abrasion. And I'll share with the product that I used in my favorites video that I need to do. But I really love it. It made my skin feel nice and good and smooth and I forgot I haven't used it in a hot minute. This is a really incredible foundation. I'm sure if I was able to somehow get my correct shade that it would be even better. The one thing I don't think I like about this foundation is because it is that cushiony foundation. It's hard to really get into your, into like your nose folds, like right up in here. All right, I think that is good. That, yeah, I love this buttermilk bronzer just smells so good. All right, we're gonna go in with the P. Louise, her blushes. It's more of a fall look, so I wanna do more of a deeper shade. So we'll see how this goes. Now her shades are like, or her blush shades are so pigmented. I mean, look at that, I barely picked any up and it's, look at that, holy cow. That is like, and I like barely have anything on there. That's just residual for me. Now I think we can wipe away 
And the powder that we were using is the Becca Pink Haze. All right, we're gonna go with the Fantasize Mascara from One Size. Are you really even doing your hair and makeup if you don't get something somewhere? We'll get that here in a second. I think it needs to dry more. And then we cannot forget about the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. We're gonna do Champagne Pop. We're gonna go in with the MAC pencil in the shade Whirl. This is like for sure one of my favorite products. And then for this look, I think we're gonna go with more of a bold lip. And I I think I want to use, but I'm not entirely certain. Don't know if I want to use this or not. But in all honesty, I think I'm gonna use, hopefully that's, I just, I think it's gonna be the NYX actually, maybe. So we're gonna do the NYX lip cream in the shade Copenhagen. I actually think this is the perfect shade for this. Oh yeah, this is perfect for it. It is definitely a beautiful, sultry look um, for sure. So I'm gonna go uh, take my hair down real quick, come back with my final thoughts. Oh, 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 almost forgot. Um, we need the Morphe setting spray. Of course, how can I forget that? Cause if we're not setting it, what's the point? All right, y'all be right back. All right, guys, now that I'm back with this big pageant hair <laughs> or like a nineties, eighties, nineties style. Uh, but let's take a look on in. Well, what do we think about this eye look guys? I am loving this. This is the perfect, perfect fall look right here. Are you gonna go pumpkin patch picking? Right here. Gonna go Bob for apples? Sure, why not? Right here. So yes, I am I'm absolutely I'm loving it. And especially because it brings out the green in my eyes so nicely. This lippy, for sure. I'm loving it. Um, I was thinking it was gonna be a little bit more of a deeper uh, blood ox blood color but this this shade is actually like really perfect so leave a comment down below and let me know what you think are you gonna try this look all the products that i used are going to be put in the description as well as some affiliate links which gives me some pennies every time that you spend money using my link so help your girl get some pennies <laughs> anyways uh we'll be back later with a wear down test just to see how it looks at the end of the night uh, I'm not going anywhere tonight. I'm actually just going to stay home and play video games. So, all right, you guys, I'll see you on the flip. All right, guys, we are back. It is the end of the night. So let's take a look and see how this wore down. So the eyeshadow definitely looks so good still. It is, um, I'm trying to do a mirror while talking to you guys, but also looking in the viewfinder just to make sure that you guys can see it too. Uh, the lipstick, I was drinking and eating food, so it did wear down a little bit, a little weird. So if you did wear this out, you definitely would want to take your lippy with you so you could reapply. Uh, it didn't get on my teeth, which is nice. Uh, let's see, what else? The, for sure, the eyeshadow, definitely the foundation sat really, really nice. This is a little harsh, so I didn't do that and blend that as well but the blush did settle down to a really pretty, just a, a pretty color, very light, not heavy. I wanted to keep the focus more on the eyes and the lips, not so much the face makeup. There is a little bit of a line where I didn't blend very well. You can really see my hairline. <laughs> and that's because those curlers were in, which my hair kind of went flat a little bit, but I was also wearing, a headset because I was gaming tonight. 
I did walk the dogs a few times outside. So I have been outside. I have sweat a little bit. Um, let's see. Just very little from the tear duct area. But other than that, this actually, I think, settled pretty well. It didn't go too much into my creases. Um, the only thing is just these little, little lip wrinkles or whatever you will call it smile lines but <laughs> otherwise uh it's a really great look i absolutely love this look i'm definitely going to be recreating it again and again for the fall and what's really nice is this is pamela approved yay <laughs> i sent her i sent her a picture earlier of my final look she did call in the middle of the video and so i showed her and she was impressed and she loved it so Pamela approved. Love it. All right. That's it, guys. I think I finally figured out, though, with this foundation, the perfect, the perfect combination of how to use it, what do I put down first, uh, how do I set it, and I think it just, it looks really great. I don't know if, I can't say enough about this foundation. This is just, like, it doesn't really settle the way other foundations do and it actually yeah i have texture but i mean everybody has texture it's skin but it's not making me look like other foundations do which but either way guys i loved filming this video i loved making this and creating this look and i hope you guys like it too so be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave see you guys in the next video wow <laughs> i'm like impressed i'm like ooh. And what's funny is I was really just winging it. <laughs> oh, 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 almost forgot. Of course, how can I forget that?